Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this part two of a three episode series on sleep apnea, we will be talking all about how to diagnose sleep apnea and also what the probable symptoms could be. Sleep apnea is a very wide subject that demands a lot of deep understanding. We have divided the entire topic of sleep apnea into three parts and thus this is a three episode series. So if you're new here and you've just landed and you do not know what sleep apnea is actually and you also want to understand what the causes are, then please see the first episode. You can click this button right here or check out the link in the description box. And for those of you who directly want to move on to treatment options, then you all can skip to the third part of the video. Again, I'll be putting in a link in the description box. But before we dive into this journey and embark on this journey together to know more about sleep apnea, let me take a moment to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Upasana Gosalia, founder and head dental surgeon at iSmile Dental Clinic in Mumbai. My channel is dedicated to addressing a lot of common health issues that so many of us have so that we can each be the best healthy versions of ourselves. So please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get regular updates and notifications. And to all my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you for sending me so much love. It really helps and encourages me to make more content for you guys. Sleep apnea is a serious condition that can impact your overall health and well-being. And thus, by understanding more about its symptoms, diagnosis and treatment, you are empowering yourself and making that decision towards a better, healthier life. I'm sure a lot of you have these questions like how do I relate or how do I know if I truly have sleep apnea? So of course there's definitive tests and a diagnostic test which we will be talking about in the second segment of this video. But for now, let's quickly run through some symptoms and how sleep apnea presents. But you can check for yourself if you have one or more of these. The first thing and the first and foremost is the presence of snoring. Now, please remember that not everybody who snores suffers from sleep apnea and not everybody who suffers from sleep apnea may present in the form of snoring. They are quite mutually exclusive. But what we have seen routinely is that every second patient who's been detected with sleep apnea almost always gives a positive history for snoring. So that's how related these two are. But it doesn't mean that if you do snore, you have sleep apnea. So these are two different things. But yes, in general, snoring can also hamper your quality of sleep and also that of your partners. So if you're looking for some quick, easy fixes to your snoring, then we have a lot of uh, devices and appliances available these days, even online, which can help you with your snoring issue. These are easily available on Amazon and I have linked a few of my top favorites in the description box. So feel free to uh, check them out. And also, if you guys are using something else which I haven't mentioned, then please let me know what you'll have done for your snoring issue. I'd love to hear about it. The second common symptom that patients have presented is getting up with headaches or morning headaches. When a patient has sleep apnea, after every single episode of apnea, your brain is going to send out signals to awaken you so that you can get back to breathing normally. And this will prevent you from getting that peaceful sleep during the night. So yes, you tend to get up in the mornings with that headache. And you're wondering, like, I just got out of sleep, but why do I have that headache? So this could be one of the reasons to it. Thirdly, along with morning headaches, patients have also complained about lack of ability to focus onto things in general irritability. A fourth symptom that also you can look out for is awakening in the morning with dry mouth or a sore throat. Again, this has been also linked to sleep apnea. And lastly, getting up in the middle of the night, gasping for breath or with shortness of breath. Again, this is a very common presentation that patients, you know, tend to notice that I'm getting up multiple times in the night and I'm literally gasping for breath. So yes, there could be a very high possibility of sleep apnea here. So these are some of the most common presentations that we've seen in our practice. So if you have one or more of these, then I urge you to please get alert and speak to your healthcare provider or medical practitioner and try to understand if you truly are suffering from sleep apnea. So this obviously brings us to the next question like how can I be certain or how can I evaluate if I truly have sleep apnea? So yes, there is a test for this, a diagnostic test for sleep apnea. And this is nothing but a sleep study or we also term it as a polysomnography. So this is nothing but a detailed study of your sleep pattern using a lot of sensors that will be attached to your body throughout the night while you're asleep. 
we test and we draw conclusions and observations to a lot of factors and aspects like your heart rate, your breathing rate, your muscle activity, blood oxygen levels, eye movements, muscle movements, and so much more. And these further will help us in concluding whether you are truly suffering from sleep apnea or not. The severity of your sleep apnea will be determined by the number of apnea episodes that occur each hour. Obviously, for milder cases, it means that there are lesser number of apnea episodes occurring each hour. And for the severe cases, there are more number of apnea episodes. A very interesting thing that I want to share here with all you guys is that those smartwatches and other such fitness devices are not FDA approved to actually diagnose and detect sleep apnea. But these can provide amazing and excellent insights to your sleep health and whether you're exhibiting any signs of a sleep distorted breathing or a sleep apnea like breathing. Like we all know our fitness devices, smartwatches are all connected to our apps on mobile devices and the data from these apps can further be shared with your healthcare provider if and when you choose to seek treatment. So if you're using any smartwatches or fitness devices, do check if they provide you with any sleep data or sleep pattern data. There are so many such devices available easily today on Amazon. And of course, I'll be linking them in the description box with some of my favorites. But what I personally like the most and what I've been using myself is this fitness ring. The thing that I like the most about this is that it's so compact that I can fall asleep easily with this fitness ring on. With smartwatches and other fitness bands, the problem that happens is I'm, I'm just not used to the tightness that you know they give me around the wrist. But with the ring, it's really nice and easy to go off to sleep. Plus, it gets me all the valuable data that I need. And this has really helped me to improve my fitness goals. So yes, I do strongly recommend using a fitness ring. I will be linking this one in the description because it's my absolute favorite. Please do check it out. If any of you are already using this or maybe another brand or whatever, please do let me know how is it that a fitness ring has actually helped you better and improve your fitness goals because I'm looking to hear from you guys and see how innovatively you guys are using these rings. So that's the end of the second part of our three episode series. In this one, we've spoken about the diagnosis and also some of the symptoms. So stay tuned for the third part of the third episode where I'm talking all about the treatment options. So follow along and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it and do share it with somebody who you feel might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to get such valuable insights on general health. Remember that an informed decision can lead to better sleep and a better quality of life. So like I say always, stay healthy, sleep well and keep smiling.